Joe Rogan out there for anybody who needs more proof that Joe Rogan is just a right-wing chud. Maybe he wasn't always, folks. Maybe Joe Rogan used to be left-leaning. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he used to be a Democrat. Who knows? But one thing is for sure now, he has used the largest podcast platform in the world to spread right-wing narratives all week. And let's show you a few of them. Here he is spreading the debunked idea that uh, it was Antifa that caused the January 6th riots. And also, it was the FBI. No agency for the right-wing shitheads who actually did it, who tried to overthrow our government and saw Donald Trump as a dictator. Here he is, 100% spreading the right-wing lies about the January 6th protest. Yeah. But to say that that is like World War Two, that's like Pearl Harbor, nah. or that's okay. First off, I don't know anybody who said January six is like Pearl Harbor or not eleven. I had never heard this. It's possible somebody said that somewhere. It's possible Joe Rogan, who pretty much follows only right wing chud uh, accounts on Twitter, saw a post from someone else retweeting someone who said this. But this is not in any way a common talking point for the left. It's just bullshit nonsense, a straw man you're putting out there to beat up to make the left seem like they're irrational. But I never heard this, but go ahead. Beat up your straw man, Joe. Uh, it's like D-Day or, like, uh, or that's like, you know, the J- September 11th. This is crazy talk. That's not. just a bunch of morons. Yes, right. yes. If anybody said that, that would be a bunch of morons. But I have not heard that, and that's definitely not a left-wing talking point. It's a disaster. It looks horrible. Definitely need to clean that up. Definitely should have had more security. D- there's a lot of shit about that day that's fucked. Like the co- so now he's going to blame the fact that there wasn't a lot of security, which is another right-wing talking point to blame the left instead of Trump supporters, who are the ones who are 100% to blame for all this, and Donald Trump, who egged them on, who set this up. But they got to provide cover for the right. They got to provide cover for Donald Trump. So here he is going to try to, you know, blame the Democrats and have enough security. There's a lot of shit about that day that's fucked. Like the cops opening up the gates, letting people through. Like, what is all that about? Antifa being there. Yes. Yeah. How about the fucking. Yes. Yes. No. There was no evidence that Antifa was there. 100% made up bullshit. To try to give conservatives a pass on what they fucking did. Known FBI agents who were inciting violence. And, yeah, informants. they were telling you got to get in there. We got to take what's ours. Yeah. They had people that were there. Yeah, they know for a fact. We know that. Absolutely, we the don't. Fu- we absolutely don't know for a fact that FBI agents were pointing, telling people to go break the law and do shit. This is a one hundred percent right wing talking point in order to pass the buck onto someone other than the people that caused it. Fucking FBI. Imagine the FBI themselves trying to get people to do shit that's illegal so they can arrest them. Oh, well, that's they do best. <laughs> They're so good at that. They're so great They're at that. They're so good at that. They're yeah. wizards at that shit. January 6th, I thought it was beautiful, man. Why did you think it was beautiful? I, like, the white man going to get him some freedom as Uncle Hotel. Would say. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what freedom? They were trying to overturn our democracy and install a dictator. That is the exact fucking opposite of freedom. Try to force a dictator on us against the will of the people. Destroying democracy. Like, good fucking goddamn, Joe. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, I'm on my, you know, on my channel, I, I always talk about, like, I'm looking for the day for the white man to get on his horse, grab his musket, and just... 19 bring us back give us some freedom again. 19 he doesn't even know he's thinking 1776 but this guy's such a fucking moron he can't even think of the correct date good god a bottom of the barrel guest is all fucking joe has on there right like where's that white man like it seems like we've been neutered right and it's just like i know as a black man that if the white man is free i'm definitely not free <laughs> just nonsense complete fucking nonsense Tell me Joe Rogan is not just an everyday typical chud now. Here he is talking about how teachers are trying to indoctrinate your children with the gay agenda. Listen to this bullshit. Imagine if you have a gay child and uh-huh. you have a fucking teacher uh-huh. that's trying to indoctrinate your child into the world of heterosexuality and convince your child that they're going to burn in hell right. if that child is gay. 
Imagine how furious you would be. Right. Well, it works the other way, too. Right. It works the other way. Where are, where are these gay teachers trying to convince your straight kid that they're gay and they're going to be tortured forever if they don't come out of the closet? Like, What are you even talking about? It's just fucking complete nonsense. Right. Right? It does. It works the other way. There's, you should be really good to be able to talk, really good at what you do. If you want to talk to a fucking seven-year-old about gender identity and sex and we, I've seen some of these people with lip rings and yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. blue hair. They clearly are ideologically bound. Unlike I'm you, not Joe. saying there's anything wrong with the way they live yes, their life. Yes, you are. Yes, I'm you not are. saying there's anything wrong with yes, them are. pursuing whatever sexual identity they have and living their life. But I'm saying you should not be the person that talks to children about this, yeah. especially if you're a fucking history teacher. <laughs> what is wrong with acknowledging that straight people exist? Nothing. So what is wrong about acknowledging that gay people exist? Nothing. Nothing. Is acknowledging straight people exist sexualizing your children? Is it teaching them about gender identity to acknowledge I'm married to a woman? No, it's not. So the other way is not fucking indoctrination it's not grooming it's not fucking any of this it's just a right-wing narrative after a writing nar right-wing narrative from this human fucking thumb here he is again he's going to defend the use of the word groomer you know how they're calling disney groomers accusing them of trying to sexualize children in order to molest them simply because they want to have gay characters in their show or admit that homosexuals exist a teacher admits that gay people exist, or they admit, hey, I'm married to a man, or hey, if they have a gay student, hey, uh, you're gay, I acknowledge that gayness exists. Is that grooming? Of course not. But according to Joe Rogan, it is. How do you feel about education? I think it's critical. It's very important. Yeah. How do you feel about indoctrination by people that are educators? I don't like that at all. There's just two diff very different things. Right. And if you want to tell me that they're the same thing, I say, fuck you. Because right. they're not. Because there's a lot of fucking crazy people that wind up being teachers. Someone said to me that... Um, Who? Or read this. Uh, not all... You know, the term groomer. A lot of uh -huh. people don't like that term online. Right. They're very upset. Yeah. Yeah. But they're right. real. Right. There are groomers. Yes, there are groomers. But the way they're using the word is not describing groomers. In fact, what they're doing it is they're they're using the word in such a way where it becomes meaningless to where people who are actually grooming children are much less likely to get caught because you're making the term completely fucking useless. Teachers explaining homosexuality exists or transgender people exist... Are not grooming your fucking children, Joe Rogan. Good God. You, you don't like it? Do you not like it because you don't want children to be groomed? Or do you not like it because it's a pejorative that's used against the left? I don't like it because they're using the term incorrectly. The same reason I don't like it like, uh, like when Jesse Smollett pretended like he got taxed and attacked in a racial crime. You know why I didn't like that? Because it trivializes real racial crimes. When it actually happens, it makes it much less likely for real victims to be believed. That's exactly why we have a problem with it, goddamn Joe Rogan. Not just because they're using it falsely against the left, because they're using it falsely regardless. You fucking moron. Which is, I think, more likely. Yeah. Well, here's what's more important. Not have people groom your fucking kids. <laughs> That's what's more important than you getting uncomfortable with this word because it's used by people on the right. Like, I saw someone... As an argument, someone who I think is an intelligent person who? say that Name there them. should be a block against using the word groomer. All right, I don't agree with that, but why does Joe never talk about the real groomers? Like, the religious groomers. You're much, much, much more likely to be groomed by a preacher or a priest, someone in the clergy, than a school teacher ever thought about. Why does he never mention that? Because it doesn't pander as easily to the right-wing audience he's built up for himself. It's just total fucking nonsense from this guy. He's gone full in on the Chud narratives. And one more, folks. Here he is. Mocking people who are upset about the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade. Get back to work, you whiny motherfuckers. That's this goddamn idiot's take on it. Let's listen. 
level of anxiety today. You know, you have a, a high level of anxiety today. You know, it's this Roe versus Way thing. I, I saw it in the news, and I need a mental health day. Right. Fuck you. Show up at work. Show up at work and work harder. Get the fuck out of here. You need to be a bit this. more animated, Joe. I get Damn it. What the fuck? This guy sits on his ass like I do and talks for a living. Got paid $200 million. Imagine this motherfucker telling people to get back to work. And why? Because they're upset that their rights have been taken away? That they're being forced to carry babies they don't want? When you don't have the right to do with your own body what you want to, there's a word for that. It's called slavery. Women have every right to be upset that they're being turned into human incubators against their will. That they're being forced to have rape babies and incest babies. But get back to work, whiners, says this 200 fucking millionaire who talks for a living.